Hello you lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. Now if you watched my last video guys, we looked at all my emulation devices. My handheld devices that is. Well nearly all of them. Uh, all the ones that you can add SD cards to. The ones that didn't start their life off as emulation machines but as uh, yeah, their own thing like the Vita and the PSP and what have you. And uh, I didn't drag everything up because I've got a lot of machines that have other bits and bobs on them, you know. For instance, my Data East one that has all the Data East games on it and Pac-Man systems and all these other handhelds, guys, that didn't qualify as emulator machines, if you like, or emulation machines, anyway. Um, so we just looked at those. Um, and amongst that lot, guys, was the fantastic GPD XD+. Plus. So what I want to do in this video, guys, is jump back onto that fantastic system, guys, to show you what a nearly £200 emulation device can get you. Portable emulation device, guys, and why it is 200 quid, guys. Now, what I've done with the machine is, well, me and Josh have, we've uh, installed the clean ROM. Now, originally, I... When I first got my original GPD XD, the non plus, um, I ran it basically uh, just out the box, didn't do anything to it, and uh, it was fantastic. It couldn't do things like Dreamcast or PSP, it was absolutely piss awful, and so was N64. It was just practically unplayable, guys, just awful, awful. Um, and then uh, obviously I got rid of that one because I got the GPD XD plus with the extra oomph under the hood guys and still flipping uh, dreamcast yeah some played a bit you know uh, still massive distortions and you know awful sound for instance on uh, soul caliber and what have you um n64 still wasn't running right it was still sluggish and quite a lot of distortion and psp was uh, very very mixed bag guys um, most games crashed in the end and oh just just awful guys and that was with legacy rom guys we installed legacy rom on to the gpd xd plus out the box it was awful legacy rom made it a hell of a lot better but then of course he went and abandoned it didn't he skeleton he went and abandoned the, the uh yeah the legacy rom guys he was getting sick of people leeching off him and, uh, you know, basically just not even thanking him for the fact that he created it in the first place. So I was very disappointed and I just kept running. It, I, I was lucky I already had it. Um, and it was, uh, you know, it wasn't the greatest of experiences. But it was a step up from the, uh, you know, from from new installed bloody firmware. Um, and then, guys, we put the clean ROM on. We actually did it a little while ago. And uh, I've only just really jumped back onto it to see how everything runs properly on it. And I'll tell you what, guys. <sighs> wow. Wow is all I can flip and say, guys. This is where the beautiful marriage of the GPD XD Plus Plus, guys. It has to be the one with the power under the hood. The 200 quid machine, guys, nearly. And clean ROM come together guys and then of course decent emulators yeah whether they're the standalone ones you get off the play store or whether you're using retro arch like we do on all the other machines guys i mean even the uh the ambernic ones they are using retro arch aren't they so yeah but it's got all the beef under the hood guys and i tell you what seeing is believing so what we're going to do guys we're going to jump onto the gpdxd plus and we're going to take a look at Dreamcast, PSP and N64, guys. And I'm going to show you why, if you can afford it, if you've got the money in your pocket, you've got the extra cash, the spare cash, if you like, to uh, spend on a handheld emulation device. Yeah, you can't go wrong with this one, guys. Right. I'm going to prove that to you right now. Back in a sec. Right guys, after doing all these uh, Ambernic videos, it's uh, quite nice to jump back onto the GPD XD Plus to show you uh, what you can get if you're willing to spend nearly 200 quid 
on a portable emulator. Absolutely stunning, it really is the performance of this machine and uh, hence the very hefty price tag. Um, obviously there is a lot cheaper out there guys which performs fantastic but we have to really look at the top end as well so we're jumping back on. Uh, it has now got clean ROM installed which improves it immensely anyway and uh, we're going to take a look at some uh, shall we say more difficult emulators to uh, to cover guys normally because of the poor performance of them. So we're going to look at Sega Dreamcast, we're going to take a look at Nintendo 64 and we're going to take a look at PSP guys, Sony PlayStation Portable. Right, so I'm just going to adjust the camera so we can focus in better for you and we'll be back. Right, here we go guys, straight in with the Dreamcast and Sonic Adventures 2. I'll leave the sound up so you can hear it properly. Right, let's see how I can call for this. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, that is absolutely fantastic. Right, back with the next one. Right, up next, guys, Soul Calibre. Another very intense one. Fantastic. You hear how good that sound is there. Now that's the thing with the GPD XD Plus and uh, you know, it's got stereo speakers. Stereo speakers guys, it's fantastic. Very, very loud when you want it to be. Right, shall we play this thing then? Yeah, it'll just be in, that'll do. Oh, full door. Wicked. <laughs> now you're gonna see a treat guys. This is fantastic emulation. Final battle. 
Right, time to move on to the next game, just as Ivy comes in. Right, for this one guys, I've got to hold it in my hand because the shoulder button is actually the uh, drive button. Um, this is the most fantastic game guys, Metropolitan Street Racer. Let's see if I have to set it all up, probably knowing my look. But we'll go continue and see what happens. Hopefully I won't have to set it all up again. This is extremely difficult to film. So I'll do my best, see how far we get. It's a fantastic example of how good the machine can be, guys. Same fantastic sound. Are they going to make me put it all in again? No, Lord James. Okay, hopefully it's still there. Yep. That's it. Turn that little bit. guys hopefully this does it justice even if you see my ugly mug here All right, so it's birthday bonanza time on rock 101 if you were born on the 7th of june call into the station right now and if you're caller 101 you'll be winning a very special birthday bonanza Your seat belts, guys. This is red line from here. We go. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> there we go, guys. Oh, it's gonna be terrible playing, guys. Again. I think you can see how well it runs, guys. And you know what? We're going to leave it there because this is driving me crazy. And um, yeah, you can see, guys, music is spot on. Plays like a dream, even though I don't. Right, back with the next system. Right, here we go, guys, with the PSP. And straight in with one of the hardest ones to emulate, Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. Shall we see how well this runs, guys?
sounds amazing. Right, there we go guys, wicked. Right, let's go in and play this thing. You don't have to put it on my reflection anymore. Let's skip this. Relax, huh? Come on, Vic. I need a favor. Otherwise, we'll be there forever, guys. No, well, there's me again. Listen, if plans change, I'll let you know. What's this? It's a pager. Tough guy. Welcome to the 80s, Vic. Right, here we go. Let's see if we can get on here. See if I can actually drive this thing. Yazoo. <laughs> Very difficult, guys. <laughs> oh, dear, all right. He doesn't like Yazoo, obviously, eh? Yeah. Get back on there, we'll hear the rest of the song. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to leave it there anyway, guys, and move on to the next one. And that was fantastic. Seamless, bloody emulation, guys. Can you believe it? Wicked. And we're causing lots of accidents. Oh, right. Right up next, guys, and hopefully I've got rid of that, uh, you know, reflection of myself by closing the uh, blind. Um, yeah, let's have a look at my, well, one of my favourite games of all time, guys. 
On the PSP, it was released as Shadow of Destiny in North America. Um, to us, here in Blighty, it's known as Shadow of Memories on the PS2. Literally, one of my favourite games of all time by Konami. Let's see how it runs on here. It is graphically quite intense for the PSP. Not quite God of War, but it is pushing it to the limits. And uh, yeah, very badly em emulated normally, guys. So let's have a look and see how it performs now. Oh, I'm still there, guys. There you go. Let's skip that. You can't get away from me, can you? Well, let's skip that now. That was absolutely flawless, guys. That intro, flawless. Again, normally there's lots of graphical glitches even on this bit of intro, guys. But this is smooth as a bell. This is perfect. The sound is perfect as well. This is absolutely awesome. Of course not. Look, I get it. You're the evil one, the devil. 
in exchange for your immortal soul and all that. Am I right? Your soul, your soul, your soul, please. In this day and age. <laughs> well, if I do have an agenda, it's that you can Let me think it over. Of course. Of course. Of course. Go on. Go on. Go on. But don't keep me waiting too long. I don't want you to be left hanging. Wait. You either just die, die, die and die, 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 or you prevent it. It's that simple. What have you got to lose? All right. I'm sorry I called you the devil. I don't want to die yet. Please, help me. All right. But I want you to be aware of something. You have to understand that the destiny that awaits you is a potent one. Which means that just because you managed to avoid it once doesn't mean you're free with that. Unless you tear out its very root, destiny gets to be achieved. So coming back to life isn't the hard part, huh? Man, what? That can't be helped. You're right. But that's also when your own skills come into play. Are you ready? I'm going to give you some of my time to be helped. Right, we're going to leave it there, guys, because this is a long intro. Right, guys, next we move on to uh, the fantastic uh, Mega Man, shall we? Let's have a look. Here we go. That music's fantastic already. What a fantastic My name intro. is Thomas Light. I am the researcher who designed and built Mega Man X. Mega Man, Maverick Hunter X. Right, here we go. Oh, no more. No, no. Right, okay, didn't save it again. <laughs> or I forgot to save it, should I say. Right, so let's go up to new game then, shall we? Here we go. Oh no, I pressed something wrong to that again, probably. Yeah, there we go. There we go, guys. Hopefully that's it. Uh, we'll go down to... Yeah, let's go to normal. Stay there. Again, flawless at the moment, guys. Absolutely. Sound. Superb as well. Play this thing. I'm beginning the mission. X, there's a high probability that the insurgency there was caused by Mavericks. Mavericks? This must be Sigma's work. Come on, let's go. 
Alright, here we go. No, you bugger. No, not already. <laughs> oh dear, now that was quick. It's so hard when you can't see the controls, guys. Alright, here we go again. Okay. That's it, got in. Right, double checking my jump piece. <laughs> oh, there we are. That's it, better. <laughs> oh, dear me. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, that was enough to show you that this is fantastic, guys. Right, we've got to move on to the last system now, guys. The N64. It's me, Mario. Right, as you can see, guys, Mario 64 is the Hello. perfect one one for a first test. Here we go. Right, here we go then. Yay, he says. Right, here we go. Again, sound is spot on. Emulation is perfect. Right, we'll just redo the old uh, big bum. Even though I've done it already, as you can see. Although we could do foot race. Yeah, should we do foot race? Go on then. Well, makes a change. Right, here we go. Before we get beaten because of the way I'm going to play it. <laughs> oh no, no, I'm definitely going to get beaten. Oh well, never mind. The first time in Donkey's years he's beat me. I fell off the bloody bridge. Yeah, I wouldn't this time, would I? No, of course not. Sod luck. Just ahead of me and all. Oh, hey. Might just still beat him, guys. You never know. Weirder things have happened. Oh, hey. We made it. Wow, I can't believe it. I'll still beat him. That's incredible. Here he comes, a little stinker. Wicked. Yep, that is superb, guys. What a fantastic emulation. Brilliant. 
spot on, guys, spot on. But we've got to have a look at another title, haven't we? Right. Right, here we go, guys, with another Mario. Mario Kart. Again, guys. This is perfect, apart from the odd slight sound distortion, but otherwise flawless, guys. Right, let's go straight in and play. Yeah, we'll just do the easy stuff. Here we go. Yeah, stick with Mario. Okay. You hear that slight sound distortion, guys, but it's not that bad at all, and playing it is fantastic. This is flawless, guys, flawless. Final lap. Can I do it, guys, or they're going to whip me in your ass? As you can see, guys, it is playing flawlessly. Wicked. Oh, here we go. Bloody bananas got me again. Now I'm going to lose the race, probably. No, I'm out of luck. I'll keep trying. Go on, let's just overtake a little sod, haven't we? Here we go. Wicked back in first place again. Are we near the end? Come on. Ah, bloody banana again. And another one. Oy. Come on, let's get to the finish line. Come on. Nearly there. Yes. Wicked. Ha ha ha. There we go, guys. Yeah, absolutely flawless, except for a tiny sound distortion now and again. But you know what? Hey, you can live with that, can't you? Because it's barely anything at all. Right, back to the next one. Right, another racer, guys, for the very last game we're looking at in this video. And it's one of the best ones on the uh, N64 full stop, guys. It's a fantastic, fantastic racer. Right, let's see how far I get with this one, then. When using the bloody viewfinder and what have you. It's Beetle, yeah, the Beetle racing game, guys. It's fantastic. Very much a unsung hero on the N64. Right, should we just play this thing? Yeah. Adventure Racing! Beetle Adventure Racing. Wicked. Welcome! 
Yep, one player. One player. Yep, single, single race. race. Yeah. Full grid. Easy. Okay. Oh yeah, it's me. It has to be easy. Good choice. We're in England, Coventry. Mm -hmm. Nice wheel. That'll do. Automatic, absolutely. I'm going to be finding it very hard, but the handling on this game, generally, when you're playing it properly, is fantastic, guys. This is an awesome racer, and literally one of the best on the N64. And nobody talks about it. And normally, absolutely awful emulation for this game. But this is absolutely, again, guys, using that term again, Flawless, it is flawless. The music, oh, the graphics, guys, it is absolutely spot on. Oh dear, look what I've done. I've gone down some sort of shortcut here. That's kind of cool, I like that. Whee, over the bridge. Nice one. Yeah, I like that, that was cool, going down that shortcut there. Getting some extra bits and bobs. Oh, hey, we've got him out of the way anyway. Fit through the bush. Get out of my way, you sucker. Doing better than I thought. Oh, this is awesome, guys. Awesome. It handles like a dream, even when... You're trying to record it for a viewfinder, leaning over a uh, yeah, tripod and using what is a DS-shaped machine on a table. Not fun. Way swing to the side there. is absolutely fantastic perfect emulation it is just a treat now you know where your 200 quid's gone when you're playing like this guys fantastic nearly 200 quid I keep saying 200 quid it's actually about 180 That's the first place here. I don't think I... Oh, I was. Hey, nice one. Right, hopefully we're going to get there in a minute. Well, I might just have to cut it off here because this is turning into a very long video. I don't know how the hell I'm still in the lead when I keep going on the grassy verge. Hmm. It must be nearly there now, guys. Come on. Must be. Just a little bit more, is it? No, it just keeps going and going, doesn't it? Nope, he's trying to overtake me. Get out of here, you sod. Come on. Come on, we must be near the end now. Am I still in the lead? I think I am. Well, how fantastic is this game, guys? Hmm? 
should be one of the first ones you throw on your GPD if you uh, get one. Obviously, it's the GPD XD Plus that is performing like this, guys. You will not get the same performance out of the regular GPD XD. It must be the Plus to get this kind of performance. It needs that extra power under the hood to perform like this. And of course the clean room.